Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your host, Steve Thompson. This is Amy Sports Fan TV, Episode 9. Uh, we got a lot to get to tonight. Let's first take a look at the playoff-bound Boston Celtics. Just uh, thought I'd throw up a little encouragement for everybody. Uh, scary moment here in the Red Sox game tonight. Pablo Sandoval got hit in the left foot. He had to leave the game. Uh, here's a little weak grounder to short. Uh, for some reason, he didn't throw home. I'm not really sure why. If you take a look at the replay, they're going to slow it down a little bit for us. Um, he had plenty of time to get him. This actually, played by Desmond, it actually gave the Red Sox the lead in the seventh inning, which is kind of bizarre in itself because... They get three runs in the seventh inning without getting a single hit. So I'll figure that one out. Not really sure how that one happened. Uh, but then Koji Urahara in the ninth inning tried to give everyone in Red Sox Nation a heart attack by hanging a curve. And uh, they called it fouls. They actually took a look at it you know, on replay. A manager for Washington came out and challenged it. Uh, you know, It took about five minutes, but whatever. They got the call right. Uh, I thought for a second the umpires were going to say it was a fair ball just to screw over the Red Sox, but they didn't. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Koji Urahara strikes out the last batter. Uh, typical Koji self. Good to see him back after, you know, getting hurt in spring training. Go, good to have him back. Hopefully he stays healthy for the rest of the season. The Sox win at 8-7. to seven. They had 11 hits. Uh, pretty much the difference in the game was Washington had three errors, so not going to win too many games when you have three errors in a single game. You know, so there you have it. Red Sox have won every single s series this season so far. You know, so let's go to the Celtics. Last few seconds of the game is a great back-and-forth game against the Toronto Raptors tonight. Uh, Toronto's got a pretty high seed in the playoffs. So Celtics, after this, Jay Crowder, basically buzzer beater. He hit this fall-away, you know, playground shot with... 0.8 seconds left give the Celtics a lead. They'd hang on to win at 95-93. Um, so Tyler Zeller chipped in with 12 points. He had Brandon Bass with 13. You know, and Evan Turner led the way with 14. So pretty balanced scoring for the Celtics tonight. You know, great to have you guys watching the video. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.